Hey, how's it going? I just found an additional bonus content that I wanted to add to the mastering portion of the uh, tutorial that I'm doing. Uh, I found that mixing it um, here in the studio sounded great, but as soon as I listened to it in my car, uh, it didn't sound right. So um, stay tuned and see what I did to fix that. <laughs> Okay, so this is uh, an additional bonus video on the mastering side of things. Uh, the last video we looked at mastering our file and it sounded really, really good with uh, the headphones, my uh, earbuds, my studio monitors and my studio stereo system. But like uh, everyone else on the internet saying, you know, check it on all these different systems. So I went to my car and checked it out and it sounded very uh, tinny in the car. So we had a lot of high frequencies that were coming in and uh, the, the mids and lows were great, sounded really good, but it just sounded like somebody was just uh, hitting a cymbal the whole time at a really high, high volume. So I went back into WaveLab here. So we're gonna take a look and I'll show you what we ended up doing. So um, I'm just gonna play a little bit of the uh, song here. <laughs> So we've made the adjustment here and all I did was I went into my equalizer here and I basically took the higher frequencies from the 4K to the 16K, so number four and six here, and I brought them down quite, quite aggressively. And then I also brought in um, a low pass filter just to mask that out a little bit. And <clears throat> the interesting thing is it sounds pretty much the same on the studio monitors and everything else that I checked on. Uh, but then when I went to the car, it sounded really good in the car too. So even though it was f what seems like a fairly aggressive adjustment here, uh, it made very little difference on all of the other audio outputs, but it made a big difference in the car. Now, I'm not sure why that is. Uh, maybe if anyone knows in the comments, you can let me know what you, what, if you know what's going on there, that'd be great. Uh, but I made that adjustment and sound is good. So um, I'll just show you the waveform here. As you can hear, it uh, there's a subtle line there that you have to be careful to make sure you don't make it sound too muffled and muddy. But just pulling that down a little bit uh, makes very little difference, like I said, in the studio monitors, but makes a huge difference in the car stereo. And uh, yeah, so it worked out well. So I just wanted to add that little bonus tip here. So now um, also the other thing that I'm noticing as I'm learning this uh, I mix with headphones for a lot of the time and then I open it up to the stereo monitors. I now know what it sounds like in the headphones. So um, I'm slowly tuning my ears to know exactly what uh, I need to listen for. So it's making it a little bit easier. I guess that's all part of the learning process. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful and uh, yeah, we'll continue on with the next video. So as you can see, it makes a big difference on adjusting the high frequencies, bringing them down ever so slightly or even a little bit aggressively um, can make a big difference in the car stereos for some reason. I'm not sure why. Maybe you can let me know in the, in the comments. Um, but it didn't make a lot of difference in the whole studio here. So it sounded really good. So hope you enjoyed that extra bonus content.